going to eat right here. Uh, okay, so this video is going to be a little bit different, which obviously a lot of my videos are. Anyways, um, the past couple of weeks have been uh, just a little crazy at work. If you guys go back and you watch the first video I ever did, uh, I talked about my experiences with the paranormal, the other side, where it is that, you know, supposedly we go when we pass on. And it kind of explained my uh, sightings with things, what I've seen, what I've documented. And uh, I had my house cleansed a while ago. Um, and, you know, it seemed, it seemed that things started to, you know, die down. There wasn't, there wasn't a lot of activity going on. Okay. Um, in the video, I also talked about how I went to go see two different psychics, which I did. Um, and I made sure that these, these two psychics did not know each other at all. Cause I, I wanted to feel like I was getting a 100% legit reading without them knowing each other. Um, and so, like I said, th things were going, things were going good. Uh, there wasn't a lot of, of activity. Like I said, um, here and there, there would be a couple of times where I would feel like a brush on my shoulder, you know, or, or, you know, like how people say where it, it sounds like a, like, like somebody's blowing in your ear or something like that. Okay. I've gotten that. Um, but of course I just brush it off like it's nothing. And the past couple of weeks, all of that has changed. Um, and it's not here in my home. It's actually at my job. So about, I don't know, about six, six, seven months ago, it's eight o'clock in the morning. I had just opened up the salon. Um, no commotion, still early in the morning, doing my client, radio's not on, uh, she has her eyes closed, it's completely silent, and I'm just going about cutting her hair. We're, we're not talking. Um, and all of a sudden, my license, which is displayed on my station, which, by the way, has tape on the back of it so that it does not fall, my license flew across the salon, in the middle of the salon. Of course, it freaked me out a little bit. It especially freaked out my client, obviously. Um, I really didn't go into detail on why or... or I The only thing I said to her was, well, uh, they're saying good morning. That's all I said. And, of course, she looks at me like that weird look like, Huh? Like, okay, this woman is crazy or whatever. Um, and, and that's fine. I don't care. It was early in the morning. I'm still trying to wake up. Um, it's something that is, I don't know, it, it, in my life for the past two years, it's almost like it, it seems like it, it's normal. Anyways, moving on. Um, so I'd say about uh, two, I'd say two months later, one of the girls that uh, works at my salon, I'm actually not going to use her name, um, she has noticed some things in the salon as well that, that have gone on. And I would come into work and she would say, oh, you know, there was a, there was a black figure that was in the salon. Um, and she, she sees these things. Um, and you know, it kind of made me feel like, oh, okay, she, she believes me, she's not, you know, she's not thinking I'm crazy, like a lot of other people out there think, they don't say it, but their face, their face expressions is like, hmm, well, there's got to be a bigger and better uh, explanation for it. But what I've gone through, I don't think so. It, you know, it's, it's, you think of every scenario, but, okay, so, about two weeks ago, um, and I actually, I wasn't here, I wasn't at work that day, one of the girls said that one of the other uh, stylists, same thing happened. Her license flew across the room, landed in the middle of the salon. She was so scared by it that she did not pick, her, she did not pick the license up. She just left it there. She left it on the ground 
it, it spooked her out. It freaked her out. Um, and yeah, so that happened. And then about this, God, three, four days later, my uh, license again, again, okay, did the same thing. It flew across and landed in the middle of the salon, okay? Um, and like I said, I was not there on both of these days. I was not there when um, one of the other hairstylists, uh, when her uh, license flew across the room. And then I was not there uh, one day when mine did the same thing, okay? So now that's twice now. Um, so a couple of days ago, I was at work and what happened? My license flew across the room, landed in the middle of the salon again. Okay. Um, and I specifically remember making sure that it was not, that it was not going to fall off. It was not going to fly across the room. Like I'm like, nope, this is not going to happen. Uh, if, you know, if it does, there's, 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 there's gotta be a different, you know, um, reason for it other than it being what, what it is. Okay. Um, now with all of this, okay. Uh, that same day, one of the girls hairspray, okay. Um, the lid was on top of the hairspray and it literally, it, it popped off, flew up in the air and landed underneath one of the other girls, uh, stations. How does that happen? And the funny part is, is the hairstylist said, you know, I just used that thing. I made sure that the lid was off. She's very, uh, particular when it comes to her, uh, her equipment and her, um, you know, the, the, styling products that she uses that she always put it she always puts it back where it's supposed to go and she always makes sure that the lid is on it especially if it's not hers um so for her to say that she used it put the lid back on put it right back where it was and then all of a sudden and it, you could literally hear the suction of it it popped off and it and it like i said it flew up in the air and landed underneath uh, one of the other girl stations so um, what do you say about that? I mean, I don't, I don't know what it is, who it is. And the funny part, this is even funnier. The funny part is too, is I had a client, um, the next day and something, I don't know how the conversation started, but she was telling me that her and her husband are, you know, they're really into the paranormal and that they go, you know, around the country and they go to these haunted places and they document stuff and this and that. And the stories that she tells me is like, oh my, like, I know exactly what you mean. Like I've, I've felt that or I've seen that happen. Um, so I thought all of this was going to kind of be done and over with, but obviously it's not. And other people at my work are starting to see it and it's starting to freak them out a little bit. Um, there was actually another day too, where I forgot about this. The, uh, um, the washer machine started on its own. Um, there was a situation where both of the salon chairs, were actually, not the salon chairs, the shampoo chairs, they were actually pulled out from underneath the bowls, literally pulled out and was three to four feet away from the bowls. Uh, there was only one girl that was there and she didn't use it. She didn't move it. Nothing. So how does that happen? How, like, you know, and like, like I said before, you know, my sister and I, we have had experiences together in the past and this channel was primarily going to be about the paranormal um but certain things changed and um we kind of just my sister and i kind of went on different paths um but we still have a plan on wanting to do this together um 
and then I thought, well, okay, a lot of a lot of it has changed. There's not much going on. So, you know, we thought about, okay, well, what, you know, we'll go to these haunted places and, and, and you know, get some type of, you know, I don't, recordings or whatever. Um, but then once when I had my house cleanse, it seemed like a lot of it had died down and it just kind of, you know, it went away. Well, I think for whatever reason, it has came back and like I said, I don't know who it is. I don't know what it is. Um, all I know is, is that I feel, I feel like I have to tell you guys about this and let you know what's going on because it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's the unknown. It's, it's, it's something that a lot of people, they don't like. They stay away from it. They don't believe it. That's fine. I com I completely understand. But the way my brain thinks is not like that. I'm more of, I want to know what it is, who it is. You know, I'm very intrigued and, and curious and the whole mystery of it all. And, you know, they say that normally it's somebody who you are very close with, somebody who has passed away. And like I said before in, in the videos, I don't, I don't have a negative feeling about it. I don't feel scared. I don't feel like I'm being attacked. I've never, I've never had that or I've never gotten that feeling before. But whatever it is, it's, it's trying to make itself known and it's doing it at work. So I don't know if it's, towards me, if it's toward, you know, towards, and, and that's another thing, one of the other girls that I work with too, she is very intuitive to these things, actually, there's two of them, and the stories that she has told me that has, that has gone on in her home, it's freaky, it is, it's freaky shit, but that's what makes it so, so interesting, and it's just so out of, I, I don't know, out of the ordinary for a lot of people. Um, so yeah, um, let me know what your guys' experiences are, if you have any, um, because I know I'm not alone in this, but I would kind of like to know what your guys' opinion, if you guys have seen anything, have heard anything, just to kind of, I don't know, make me feel a little bit more at ease about it, I guess. I don't know, but I just felt like I had to come on here and tell you guys. I also told you guys the past couple of videos too that I had something planned um, that's going to be really exciting and I'm still working on that. Just give me a little bit more time. And yeah, so instead of talking about the news today, this is what I wanted to talk about because it's, it's pretty freaky. And that's another thing. I plan on, I want to go out and I want to get a recorder and I want to put it up. I just have to get it okayed by my manager. That it's okay to uh, videotape the salon while, while nobody's there. Um, and I'm probably going to have to get two or three of them. Because even though the space that we have is pretty small, um, there's different corners. And so I want to make sure that I can videotape everything so that we don't miss anything. So anyways, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Leave your comments. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, we're just going to see, I don't know, what's what's to come. Because um, like I said, it just seems like there's something that is going on every single day. Every day. Um, so yeah. Anyways, okay. Um, hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.